And we begin first at four with the violence over the weekend in the Circle City. At least a half dozen people were shot in just 12 hours. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Miller. And I'm Aliyah Blackburn. The most recent shootings happened within hours of each other late last night. You're looking at scene from a non-fatal shooting on Kessler Boulevard. Within a half hour of each other, police confirmed shootings here on Riverside Drive and on Woodrow Avenue. All the victims here are expected to survive. Now, the increased violence is putting neighbors on edge now as they grow more frustrated with these shootings. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains this afternoon how community activists hope to help bring the crime and shooting numbers back down. So far, all the weekend shootings have been non-fatal, except for one man who was found shot in a parking lot here along West Washington. And the numbers show Indy remains on pace for the second most violent year in the city's history. Starting around 8 o'clock Sunday morning, police found a man identified by family as Bobby Dodson shot to death outside a business on the west side. A few hours later, two people were hurt in a pair of unrelated shootings, including one here on Harlan Street, which wounded a 27-year-old man and left neighbors frustrated. It's horrible to see the crime continuing to happen. On Sunday night, Three others were injured in a trio of shootings, one of which took place after sunset near Kessler and Lafayette. This violence is happening all over our city, so nobody is immune. In fact, this year, IMPD has reported 80 homicides, down from last year's 95 deaths on the same date, but still significantly higher than any other recent year. The same is true of non-fatal shootings. This year, there have been 222 victims, down from 253 last year, but again, drastically higher compared to 2018, 19, and 20. We have got to be real and honest enough to say we didn't get in this overnight, and it's going to take a while to get out. Reverend David Green with the Concerned Clergy believes reversing the violence numbers means fixing root causes like education and economics, which will take time. You know, unless we address those core fundamental issues and give people some hope, a lot of stuff is going to go on that we don't want to see. Finally, police have not released any suspect information following the homicide here, but as always, anyone with information on any unsolved shooting can still contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you. Police have